What? Could you see retiring at 29 like Kim is? Um, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to put a number on it, but four years from now, I mean, I do want to be a mother someday too. So. When you experience a loss, what is the recovery process like for you? Um, as a 25 year old? Maybe a little easier than a 29 year old. <laughs> you mean in terms of matches, match recovery? Or? Well, just emotional recovery. Oh, emotional recovery. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess when you're young, I mean, it's every year in your career is so different because in a way, sitting here as a 25-year-old, I mean, I, I can say that my experience is priceless. Everything that I've, the good, the bad, the injuries, the losses, the wins, I mean, everything you can look back on and, and, and feel like you've experienced certain things. And, um, and it helps, it, it guides you in a way. When you're young, everything is new, every experience, every loss. It's like you, you can't, even when you lose matches, you, it's tough to say, well, that's bad for me because I can't tell you how many matches I've lost where I feel like I've learned so much more than when I won. Um, very different, tough, tough to compare. Maria, how much of Serena fights so great with the grass? Does she come in here as a favorite and virtually unbeatable, or now that we're back on hard yeah. court, does it change that? Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, she... She gained a tremendous amount of confidence at Wimbledon. Um, you know, she had a, a tough few three-set matches, I believe. She got through those. Um, and when she got to the Olympics, I mean, with every match, I saw some of her matches. She, she just improved. You know, I think she took that confidence. She, and she played just really great um, physical tennis, served extremely well. Um, but who knows? I mean, obviously, of course, she is the favorite because she won those two big events back to back. Um, but everybody's still in the draw here, and it starts from the first round on, and that's why everybody's here. So. Let's switch to the Russians. Can you ask uh, in Russian? I wish I could. When Kim was in here, uh, Kim was in here a little while ago. She said in her mind, Serena is the greatest player ever. What are your thoughts on that? Well, she's certainly proven that. I mean, she's. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't get to be a part of the generation with Steffi and Monica, so it's it's tough. I mean, I've played Monica a couple of times, um, but I, mean, I wish, part of me wishes I would, would have competed against Steffi, but um, yeah, it's it's really tough to say. I mean, it's a different generation. I mean, she's such a great athlete out on the court. I mean, she's won how many Grand Slams already, an amazing accomplishment, singles and doubles, um, and, you know, and still have the mo motivation to do so. but. I think it's really difficult to compare all these different players because everyone has a different style of games. They've all achieved incredible amounts of achievements, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to say. Я еще это не обсуждала ни с кем. Вот только что Олимпиада закончилась, поэтому у нас еще есть очень много возможностей сыграть в Кубке Федерации, но я не знаю, если я буду все первую встречу в следующем году играть, потому что особенно после Австралии. Да, ну в следующем году. Сейчас мы только выпустили здесь. А, и надеюсь, что в, в начале следующего года будет и в России, конечно. Конечно, я бы хотела. Последнее. Сейчас вот, в связи с тем, что довольно-таки серьезно идет кризис со стороны ITF, вот, по, по этим правилам, да. по многим параметрам, становится очень сложно играть. Mm -hmm. Сейчас на стильмирах вы собираетесь в какой-то форме участвовать в какой-то этап ITF? Ну, в плане совета игроков, вот, как выйти mm -hmm. или вот в какой-то форме высказывать свое мнение? Ну, конечно, мы это обсуждали. Это, да, это очень тяжело, и они еще добавили нам, надо сыграть две еще дополнительные встречи, как я понимаю, чтобы попасть на Олимпиаду. И, да, это тяжело, но это обстановка, и мы еще над этим работаем. Мы, мы эти, ну, мы так сказали сильно, что мы, что нам это не нравится, они, конечно, нас не слушали, но надеемся, что что-то еще изменится. С президентом я обсуждала это в Майами еще в этом 
должно. Конечно, они всех слышат, но они слышат, но они как-то недостаточно хорошо. Почему-то. Okay, I will.